Terra Luna Classic, the cryptocurrency. If you guys are still bullish on this one over the long term, smash the thumbs up button on this video. What I want to do in this video is I want to break down the price analysis of this crypto. How are we tracking? Why is the price sitting where it is right now? What needs to happen for this one to go up in price? We're also going to cover off on some fundamentals for this crypto. So how are we benchmarking against some other cryptos out there and some other important things to know about this crypto in the market today. So if that sounds good to you guys, make sure to hit the thumbs up but as always not financial advice and let's get straight into this video and the first thing i want to do is just do a zoom out on the actual price of terra classic so we've actually studied terra classic for a long period of time uh since it went on to these actual micro levels right here and if we zoom in on the graph we are sitting roughly at around the 0.000 one seven level currently uh, but if we analyze it back here we have had this crypto on the channel with these super micro levels right there we got our first initial pump it was trading flat for a long period of time um, this was at mostly the 0 0.0010 level right here flat we got this massive spike during some bullish momentum in the crypto space we got up to the three zeros and a six right here and we have retraced a little bit what we have had recently is Binance burns going through for this crypto which is very good and right now we are trading at three zeros one seven and if we do look at some fundamentals for this crypto what are some important health signals we need to see for this crypto crypto right now and if we do take a look the Terra Classic volume is still actually pretty high so last 24 hours 141 million dollars worth of volume so lots of day traders are trading Terra Luna Classic over on Binance uh, possibly on KuCoin as well I've got links to both those crypto exchanges in the description of this video if you guys want some free bonuses uh, but the volume on Binance actually looks quite good 47 million right there 18 million on the Lunk on the Lunk slash USDT pair right there so the volume is still there uh, uh, contextually though we also have to factor in um, you know a lot of these price movements recently to the downside uh, the whole entire crypto market I have been doing a lot of big crypto news updates about this uh, on the channel this you know in my opinion a lot of the market has been going down with FTX what's been happening with that uh, Sam Bankman Freed and the collapse of the FTX exchange so that's kind of let off an atomic ice bomb on the crypto market and a little bit of a winter chill over the market currently uh, that explains some of the downside there and if we do take a look at some of the burn numbers for Terra Classic. We can see right now we are sitting at around 27 billion burnt for Terra Classic, inching towards 28 billion right there. And if we actually go over to Lunk Penguins right here, it can give us a bit more of a breakdown of where these burns are coming from. And uh, we can see, uh, you know, what's interesting here is the Binance burn. It is up to 13 billion, but you know what? The 1.2% tax burn, it's climbing back up. So that is actually at around 9.5 billion. And if we do take a look at the uh, of, of the curvature of the burn, there has been a slight decrease in the overall, you know, the the acceleration of these burns. You can see it on the uh, on the curve of uh, this graph right here. So a bit of a decrease on the curve of the burns. Um, but fundamentally, you know, for this cryptocurrency, in my opinion, what needs to really happen uh, for us to grow in value? And I think it's going to come down to the burning of Terra Classic, uh, optimizing that burn rate. And then importantly, and this is something I also covered off on a previous video in the crypto news. If we have a look right here and we go to DeFi chains, this is the stuff that really tests out what crypto chains are actually getting utilized in the cryptocurrency market okay so what's important to know when you're looking at this is uh, it actually changes so some cryptos come some cryptos go ethereum back in the day you know it had like 90 90 percent uh, domination of tvl on all the chains so there really wasn't much competition to ethereum um, but you have seen the growth of the Binance Smart Chain. We did see the rise of Terra Classic in the past. And uh, we also saw the fall of Terra Classic as well. And we actually are seeing the fall of Solana currently as well. So Solana used to have a decent sized TVL. But that is starting to drop right now. And if we actually scroll down these charts, this is going to give us an indication of uh, how much money is actually getting locked up on the Terra Classic Chain. And if we do have a look right here, guys, we're sitting at number 68. And we got about 5.9 million uh, of TVL on the chain. So the big focus, the number one focus for uh, Terra Classic, if it wants to be a DeFi cryptocurrency and it wants to be as big as Ethereum, you know, the developers, the community, we need to think about how do we get more money 
onto you know the chain how do people you know participate in the DeFi? how do they get rewarded on uh the chain of terra classic how do we get more projects onto this chain and i think naturally that will start to increase the burn amount for this crypto and uh, that's what we want so we don't only want to be relying on binance even though binance we do have some good burn amounts going through for this so that is still very very considerable to get you know 50 million plus volume on a on a crypto most cryptos out there you guys know it little moonshots little cryptos they don't even get you know more than 1 million in volume a day we're getting you know 100 million still on terra classic which is great to see uh, but i think you know the pathway for greatness for terra classic is going to come down to tvl more projects DeFi activity and development of the terra classic chain so even though there is a bit of a winter chill in the market with ftx and sbf I still think it's an opportunity for Terra Classic to basically continue to grow. So it's all about development, getting that activity and, and long-term growth in the crypto market. And as I always say, you know, I'm diversified. I'm comfortable with my levels of investment. I'm comfortable with my levels of holding in Luna Classic. And guys, I'm in it for the long run. So even though we haven't had too many recent Terra Classic updates, guys, still holding Terra Classic, still bullish. And uh, I'm not getting out of crypto, even though there is a lot of uh, FUD in the market with FTX right now. But guys, that's a big update. If you guys want more Terra Classic updates, please hit the thumbs up button on this video. It gives me a bit of an indication of whether I should continue to cover cryptos and things like that. So the more interest I get, the better it is a signal to continue to uh, cover cryptos and uh, bring some excitement to the market. So I love covering cryptos like Luna Classic and also the big crypto news. I love that stuff as well. But guys, appreciate you guys tuning into the video. Have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.